School is just around the corner and no doubt you guys are seeing plenty of videos on all kinds of different cool little gadgets that are gonna help you with your studies. That's not what we're doing here today. Today instead, I'm gonna show you some great accessories to help you with the number one pastime to distract you from those video games. Question, is it fair to blame juvenile delinquency on the video game craze? Kicking things off, we're gonna start with a back to school classic, backpacks. Specifically though, ones that'll also carry around game systems. Now, one that I absolutely love and have talked about before is the Switch backpack. It carries around a Switch, all the accessories you can need, and enough extra room to also carry a MacBook or a small laptop. But within the context of being for back to school, I actually don't really recommend this one for a couple of reasons. It's a little on the small side, not really gonna carry extra stuff you need like maybe textbooks, but more importantly, while it is a good looking backpack, kinda advertises to people that it's probably carrying around a hard to buy system that would be great for someone else to steal and sell on eBay or Craigslist. Not a great idea. So instead, I highly recommend this CTA backpack. This is one I've talked about before. It is specifically designed for carrying around things like an Xbox One or a PS4, giving you a safe and secure way to bring it around and take it to say a friend's dorm room or something, but at the same time being nice and subtle so it's not screaming, I'm filled with game systems. It's also larger, so it's gonna be better to actually double as a useful functional backpack as well for textbooks or other things you might need to get by. Now, of course, having a way to safely protect systems you're transporting around is a good idea, but there's also those systems that you wanna protect while using them at the same time, specifically Portables, the big one right now being the Switch. Now look, it's not the best idea to walk around campus playing game at the same time, but I know a lot of you are gonna do it. So if you are, invest in a protective hard case like this one right here. What's great about this one is it's actually made out of rubber, so it's just a little pliable and bendable at the same time. So if you drop the system while it's in it, it's actually gonna absorb the impact and not just transfer the whole thing into the Switch. Now it actually snaps really easy into place and it's all one package so it's gonna keep the Joy-Cons on. So if you do drop the system, it's not only gonna protect it, but it's gonna keep these Joy-Cons from flying off in the distance. Great idea. Now, speaking of the Switch, while it does make a great portable, it's no secret that the dock has its problems. There have been scratched screens, some switches have overheated to the point of actually bending a little bit, and it's just not nearly as portable as the Switch itself, which can be a problem if you want to bring it over to someone else's place and hook it up to their TV. And that's where a portable dock solution comes in handy. Turns out the actual functional parts of a Switch dock aren't very large and don't need a lot of space. So a lot of third-party companies have started popping up with these portable docks for the Switch. They are just small enough to easily fit in your pocket or a small pocket of your backpack, making an easy way to be able to impromptu set up on a TV in a friend's dorm room or a common room, anywhere you just wanna use the Switch on the spot, this is on hand for you. Now, a lot of these have been coming from companies that are doing crowdfunding and they're having Fairly high price points, but there's actually some more affordable options coming up soon. For instance, Fastnail is coming out with one later this month for only 30 bucks just in time for the school year. Now, if you're gonna be living that dorm life, an important part of any kind of gaming setup is a headset because you don't want to be that jerk that keeps your roommate up all night with the sounds of explosions and gunshots. And chances are, if you're in college, you're probably gonna want something a little more on the lower budget side so you can afford the pizza and ramen diet. That's where the Cloud Stinger from HyperX comes in. This is an awesome headset at the low price point of 50 bucks with a great balance of sound quality, mic quality, and comfort levels you can wear it for prolonged periods. It's also designed to work across pretty much any gaming system, Xbox One, PS4, PC, Mac. It'll even work with Switch, although if you wanna use both game audio and chat audio, you have to buy that terrible adapter system since you have to use your phone for some reason. The point is, this is a great headset that'll work on any system you've got. Sure, there are better headsets out there, but only if you're willing to spend two, 300, even 400 bucks. 50 bucks, this thing's an absolute steal. But of course, no gaming setup would be complete without a monitor. If you're living that dorm life, you don't always have very much room to work with. And that's why having something like a full-size TV isn't really a practical idea. And that's why even if you're playing stuff like Xbox One, PS4, or Switch, you're actually better off picking up a gaming monitor rather than an actual TV. And might I suggest one of these ones from BenQ. They're designed specifically with the gaming in mind to give you a great color depth, crisp image, super fast response times of only two milliseconds, and low blue light so you can actually play for long periods of time without getting your eyes all tired out. This one in particular is their 27 inch model which is a 1080p monitor with 60 hertz refresh rate at only 160 bucks. If you want a higher resolution, the options are out there, but you're gonna be paying more. On a low budget, this is the perfect choice. So there's some awesome gaming accessories to pick up for back to school. You've probably also heard of a lot of other useful things like external hard drives, battery banks. I've got some of those I'd recommend as well. I'll put links for those down below along with all of this stuff and I will see you guys later.